Hey everybody, this is Eric for Planting Seeds for Life, and this is how garlic looks in late May or early June. These scapes need to come off. If they don't come off, your garlic is not going to be very big. You, you not only get bigger bulbs, but you get bigger cloves when you trim them. And so what we're going to do today, just a real quick demonstration. You, here let me get this out of the way. You trim that like so. And you cut them all off. Um, now, I knew that I needed to do this, but I want to show you something here. When I saw this one, I really decided it must be time to trim them off because this one and also uh, that one right there, they are very, very close to just popping open and turning into flowers. We don't want that to happen. Hey guys, I don't know how I did it, but uh, somehow in the middle of my garlic patch, I got some wild garlic. Well guys, um, that's a lot of garlic scapes and I'm still not done. Um, some of the things that you can do with garlic scapes is cut them up in your food, like your eggs and potatoes. You can uh, have them in salads. You can even eat them just plain. Uh, coming from the Back to Eden Garden, they are very, very sweet. Um, they have a little bit of a bite to them, but not much. Or, you can give them away to friends of yours, if you have too many, like I appear to have too many right now. Anyway, that's my two cents for the day. Thanks for watching. God bless, and see you next time. Hey, that was my two cents for the day. I'd like to hear your two cents. What do you do with your garlic scapes? Let me know down in the comments below.